Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Puppets again joined by Jakob the Lord of Malts. And today we're going to be looking at the first of the beers sent to us from Ryan in the beer trade we did with him. And this is from Stone. It's the collab Stone did with Jason Field and Kevin Shepard who back in 2011 I believe won the homebrew competition to brew beer with Stone. And then Trogues collaborated too and it's a, a Stone. Uh, Ke Jason Fields and Kevin Shepard Trogues and Stone Cherry Chocolate Stout aged in rye whiskey barrels. Uh, and we reviewed last year, actually, Ryan also, yeah. we did a beer trade. He sent the regular version. It was pretty good. A uh, nice cherry flavored uh, and chocolatey beer. Mm -hmm. Now, this says here on the front uh, ale brewed with chocolate, cherries, and vanilla beans aged in the rye whiskey barrels there. And it's on an 11.6% alcohol, so they bumped up the alcohol. And. Um, yeah, there's some info here on the back, but I'm not going to read it aloud, because as with most stone beers, <laughs> it's like books. But yeah, should be interesting. Uh, I've only had one beer in this stone, Quingenti Militre series, which was the macadamia nut. Uh, it's milliliter. Coffee, macadamia, coconut, porter, which is the, the only one I've had, which was really nice. So, But I know that they had problems with the barrel-aged uh, imperial... Stout they did in these barrels, but let's get it correct. So we got the uh, rye whiskey barrel version of the cherry chocolate stout poured, and it's a pretty black color. It yeah. I do get some reddish notes. May well, nah, not really. Actually, I think that was just from the light. It looks pretty darn black, actually. Yeah. Uh, nice little tan roasted looking head. You can kind of smell the cherries <laughs> already. I think it's, I smell even more cherry almost than when we had it last year. But do you want to check out the aroma? Yes. Ooh, a lot of cherry and whiskey. Mm, oh, yeah. And almonds. Mm -hmm. From that like almost cherry seed like aroma. Well it has a kind of a phenolic character yeah. to it as well. A little bit of alcohol. Mm. Uh definitely the vanilla in there too and some chocolate notes. Mm. I it's mostly a sweeter milky chocolate, but I do get some darker chocolate notes as well. Roasted malts. Yeah, well it's actually, spicy rye too. Yeah, actually the alcohol almost. kind of disappears. Yeah. Again. Yeah. The more you smell it. Or you get used to it, I don't know. It has like a slight spice kick to it. Mm. <coughs> what do you pick up? Some oaks, kind of. Uh, yeah, oaky, woody tannins. Yeah. Cherries soaked in whiskey, kind of. Yeah. I always say raisins, but this is more cherry dominated. There is a little bit of dark fruit, but I'd say it's definitely like black cherry that dominates the aroma. But it smells really nice, actually. Yeah. That spicy, kind of almost mm. rye like notes. So smells it's really tasteful. Tasty. Yeah. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, that's smooth. It, it does have a little bit of an alcohol flavor. Yeah. Um, the cherry flavor actually lingers. It's like a dry cherry flavor on the back end. I yeah, think. yeah. It reminds me of the cherry flavor you get in the cherry brandies or cherry wines. Like my grandfather used to do one. It has that same... Oh, and now I'm just getting coffee and chocolate. <laughs> Uh, that's what I'm hit with now on the back end. A lot of it coffee. kind of fades out in a coffee kind of chocolate. And what would you say the body on it? I would call it medium to full. Yeah, it's not full. Medium. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not real full, but it has that this nice silky mouthfeel. Yeah. Um, definitely picking up on the oaky, woody, and the dry flavors, uh, and again spicy notes. Which is probably because it's rye whiskey barrels. Mm. It has a, I mean, not necessarily just spicy rye, but more of a generic spice. Yeah, character. Yeah. Um, definitely also getting the vanilla and the almondy flavors. Yeah. So we've been sipping on the cherry chocolate stout. And it's a really nice variation or of the regular cherry chocolate stout. The bourbon barrels has done it nicely, or yeah. rye whiskey barrels. Um, still, it's not as big and mind blowing as some. Imperial Stouts, but it's still really, really good. So rating-wise for me, I'm going to go 85. I gave the regular one an 80, but this is much better. That rye, spicy whiskey barrel really is nice in it. Yeah, well, I'm pretty much right there with you. I'm going to give this 85 as well. Um, I gave you the regular, I think, 83. Yeah. So, yeah, this is better, um, definitely. But other than that, a little more mouthfeel would probably have uh, given this a better yeah. appeal. Yeah. <laughs> I, this is the only the second beer I have in the Quingenti Millilitre series from Stone. Uh, the first one I had was the Macadamia Coffee Macadamia Coconut Porter, which was Ken Schmidt, I believe, who uh, 
did that homebrew. It was really good. The barrel, the barrel aged version, is the only one I've had. But now he won again, and they just released the mint chocolate imperial stuff. Man, I want to try that, but we don't <laughs> get that stuff here, so that kind of sucks. That sounds like an amazing brew, yeah. uh, or at least really interesting. But yeah, guys, that does it for the beer review of the Jason Fields and Kevin Shepard Charles Stone Cherry Chocolate Stout aged in rye whiskey barrels. Definitely let us know what you think of this brew if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And we're going to see you guys in another beer review.